The Ebna House for Women was founded on the belief that any woman who had a desire to recover from alcoholism or addiction would have the opportunity to do so without regards for her ability to pay. Um, the Eden House opened in 2004. Myself and three of my friends started the Eden House for Women because at that time, if a woman wanted to go to a residential program for recovery from alcoholism or addiction, she couldn't unless she had private insurance, a referral from the courts, or $1,500 cash. There was nowhere for her to go, and many of the women were already trying to help had barriers in their living situation that made it so difficult to get sober. They were living with other people that were, you know, using or drinking. And so we knew that we could help them if we had somewhere safe for them to live. Alcoholism and addiction is such a lonely, isolating disease. And so we know that the solution is to be surrounded by people that will support you, that can teach you not just how to get sober, but how to live sober. And so these women go to AA meetings every night. They go to outside meetings and they meet the women that they choose to walk with um, in sobriety. They meet their own sponsors, they get their own network of support, and they build up a sober life for themselves with the support of this exceptional recovery community that, um, that support the women of the Eden House. After just two years in operation, the Eden House um, expanded in size and needed to have bigger accommodations to serve all the women that needed to come here. And so in 2006, we moved into the former convent at St. Coleman's. And in 2020, we purchased the school building next door and the convent so that we really have our forever home at St. Coleman's. Hi, my name is Jen Lasky, and I'm the executive director of the Edna House for Women in Cleveland, Ohio. And since 2004, we've started over 1,200 women on their journey to recovery. When I first began at the Edna House, I asked my friend's sister, Rita Mary Harwood, to visit. She had been here many, many years ago. When I got up into phase one, which is the attic where we are, I simply stood there and watched her as she looked around the room like this. And I said, sister, I know it doesn't look like very much. And she said, this is the most beautiful use of this sacred space. You are saving lives. This used to be storage. So ever since she said that, I know this is enough. This is beautiful. The women come. We have an open house once a year. The women bring their families up here. You will see a woman run to a bed and she'll say, this is where I got sober. It's very meaningful. We know this open floor concept works. The women can't isolate themselves and they spend the first 90 days up here. While a woman lives in phase one, they will be attending groups downstairs all day long. Those groups are facilitated by women in the outside recovery community who come back every hour on the hour from nine to four every day. And then between five and seven o'clock at night, you'll see about 20 more cars of women coming to pick our ladies up and take them to outside AA meetings. We're based only on the steps of Alcoholics Anonymous and we do not accept any medication assisted treatment we know that the longer a woman stays in sober living, the better her chance at long-term sobriety is. The Edna House is a six month program. After their first 90 days here, the ladies get to move down into the bedrooms on the second floor. That would be phase two. They're gonna begin job skills. And we have a job skills manager that's gonna teach them how to write a resume, how to dress for an interview, how to do a PowerPoint presentation. And by the time they graduate from that, all the ladies at the Edna House go on over to, um, to our job skills classroom and, and we watch them graduate. And then they move on to get jobs. So when you help a woman at the Edna House, you are not just helping that one woman, you are helping families. It is, addiction is a family disease. I know that parents, husbands, and children are sleeping the first night they know their loved one is here. They don't have to worry about where they know, where they are. They're in the safety of the Edna House. You can't really fix your life in 30 days. That's why the Edna House is so important. It's a one of a kind program that gives you the time that you need to return back to your families and your communities, sober and strong, back to your children. And I think when the children get to come here for an open house and they get to see mom's not on a vacation, mom's working really hard to get back to our family in a healthy way. What I love about the Edna House is that when you first come, if you do not have a GED, uh, you you earn your GED while you're here. You go next door to our school building. 
um, and you, you get a GED. So we're helping you, mind, body, spirit, return back to your families and your communities, sober and strong in every way you are ready to begin. You have your sober support group, and uh, these women come back as alumni. We have the most popular alumni group out there. They come back and they help facilitate meetings, they give rides, they become sponsors. They give back what was so freely given to them. And that is the most meaningful and beautiful part of this whole program, is that the community supports us. We know that it costs $500 a month to keep a woman here, and we ask the women for $100. We know they don't have it. Nobody has it when they first come. And we say, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for you to get that job. And then you're gonna pay back those program fees. The funding of the Edna House is supported by organizations, individual donors, and our two big fundraisers every year. All the food here is donated. And after 16 years to never have a woman go hungry and they're fed two times a day here, um, we go down to the West Side Market on Fridays. The community is who supports this mission. And they'll give us the food that they have surplus of or they know that we'll just come right back and cook it. And this is a very structured program. From the time a woman wakes up in the morning and gets ready for the day, uh, they have chores. This place is always sparkling clean. We have the ladies cook for the for all of them together, they sit down and eat as a community. This is intentional living. I see women come in who are so sick and so broken, and then every day they get a little better and a little healthier. And by the time their six month stay is here, is done, um, they're ready to return back to their families. In the first couple months when I worked here, I had several women come to me with their first paycheck and they said, please keep the door open for the next woman like you did for me. It makes it really easy to come to work when I get to serve uh, in this role. To be able to offer a woman safety and the support of others during this critical time, I can't express what that means. Soon we'll be starting this capital campaign and part of our expansion plans are to add a third phase to our structured program. We are going to create 10 large individual living suites on the second floor of the school building. And this will be phase three. And it will give women the opportunity that, you know, to stay a little bit longer if they need extra time. Not every woman is ready to move out on her own after just six months at the Edna House for Women. Some of them need more time to build a life that is stable and that will support their long-term recovery. Um, some barriers to recovery are, you know, financial. We want them to have a, a sustainable, independent budget, um, good employment. Some of them need to get their driver's licenses or start paying off debt so that when they move out of the Eden House for Women, their life is rebuilt in a way that will sustain their long-term recovery, you know, recovery for good. We want Edna House to be their last stop and we want them to go on from the Eden House to live a long, happy life, sober, one day at a time. And I would just say that, you know, at the Eden House, we always like to say that physical sobriety is just the beginning, that we really want these women to have a holistic recovery. We want them to be recovered in mind, body, and spirit, and to have a lifestyle that no longer re resembles anything close to the lifestyle that they had when they moved in here.